There she is. There's Baker in all her glory. That is where I'm heading right now, up to Mount Baker. Welcome back to a new video. We are on another after work adventure. I just finished up work. We'll be getting up to the mountain about four o'clock and I'm gonna be doing the Ptarmigan Ridge hike today. Hopefully we'll catch a good sunset up there tonight. And then I have all my camping stuff in here. So I'll be sleeping in my car tonight. And then we'll be going on another hike tomorrow morning. Let's just hop right into it. Right at four o'clock, just like I predicted, we made it to Artist Point. It is Labor Day weekend, so we're getting this weekend off to a good start. Let's get out on the trail. All right, here's the first glimpse of where we gotta go. Gotta go down this valley, up over this first ridge, and there's two more ridges behind that one. Okay, we dropped into our first little valley, almost one and a half miles in. I've probably passed about 100 people so far, so I haven't been able to talk very much. But we just came down this, and now we're heading to the next ridge. This section of the hike is always pretty unique. Just under two miles in, you're kind of just in this glacial, like tundra terrain. It's pretty sweet. Okay, just hit the two mile mark. About 544 feet of gain. Just about 40 minutes in. And we're about to take our first ridge here. Okay, we took our first ridge. We came from all the way over there, and now we have to take this ridge. Let's keep it going. Just about to hit three miles. Getting close to the next ridge. Look at this. This is a lot steeper than it looks. And it's just pure snow. So hopefully we can traverse this safely. <laughs> Okay, just took the second ridge, exactly three miles in. Came from that ridge and the one before it. Now the next ridge would be this one. You get even closer to Baker. But look at this, you got Baker here. Shucks in here. Spectacular. We're coming up on this third ridge. And then even after this third one, there's a fourth one that takes you to the end of Ptarmigan Ridge. I did that last year, right around this time. If you go back in my videos, you can see the Ptarmigan Ridge video from a year ago. And I went all the way to the end, ran into this huge pack of goats. It's an 
epic hike. This time I'm thinking instead of going to the end, we'll drop down into the lakes this time maybe and check out the lakes because I've actually never been to the lakes up here. Okay, four miles in, just took the third ridge. Baker is literally right behind me. It's so beautiful. So if you guys seen my video from a year ago, this trail continues up and around and all the way up to here. And Baker is literally right in your lap right there. It's beautiful. But this time, I think I'm gonna drop down into here and check out these lakes. So let's get on down there. It's almost six o'clock, so we gotta start hustling. Those lakes are probably pretty warm, eh? <laughs> Doesn't get more epic than this. Wow, look at the color of that water. We made it to the lake. It's spectacular. The color of the water is like an emerald green or like a, like a turquoise green almost. Can't, can't explain it really, but you can see it. It's so beautiful. I will admit though, it looks a little bit cloudy. So it's not the most inviting to jump in. It's kind of scary, to be honest. <laughs> I was thinking I'd want to jump in once I got down here, but it looks like a straight drop off and then it's just, can't see anything, it's cloudy. So, I don't think I'm gonna jump in, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at it this time, I think. Take in the beauty. This is incredible though. Can't be that. Okay, we saw the beautiful lakes, but now it's getting a little late. It's about 6.20 and I have over two hours back to my car and the sun sets in about an hour and a half. So we're looking at about 30 minutes hiking back in the dark. So I'm gonna start making my way back. Beautiful lake though, glad I came and checked it out. We got about five miles back to the car. Definitely wanna start heading that way. Coming out of this bowl now, we have to go up this. Oh lordy. It's pretty steep coming out of this bowl, so I'll check back in at the top and I'll probably be huffing and puffing. Okay, just made it up and out of this bowl. Here, I'll show you. So the lake was way down there. Had a hike up and out of this bowl. And it was very, very steep. But we are out, we made it. It's about 6.45 now. And we still have four miles back to the car. But man, you can't beat this. Look at the sun poking over still. 
Baker. Shucks in right over here. If you look real closely, you probably won't be able to see it on here, but Rainier, you can see Rainier out there. Absolute beauty. Let's keep moving. Made it back to the second ridge, about seven miles total now. So we still have about three miles back to the car. It is 7.20, so the sun should be setting here in like the next 30 minutes or so. I'm thinking I might just stay on this ridge until sunset. So at least I can see sunset on Shuxton and maybe a little bit on Baker. And then I'll finish three miles back to the car after sunset. Because if I continue down into this next ridge and then the one beyond that, I lose view of Shuxon. Like Shuxon goes behind this big hill right here. Then I would miss sunset. So I think I'm gonna post up here for a little bit, wait for sunset, and then we will finish the way out. It's happening. The sun is setting. It looks magnificent, man. This view from here is insane. Just a 270 degree view of the Cascades. Here, let me show you guys on my phone. It looks way better on the phone. Take a look at this. incredible look at this just i can just spin all the way around just views spectacular All right, it's about 7.50 now, so the sun is nearly set for the night. So I'm gonna start making my way back and I'll just get to watch this beautiful sunset for a little bit longer while I'm hiking. I still have three miles left, so I don't wanna do too much of it at night. <laughs> That's epic. Okay, we made it back to the first ridge, just under eight miles. So we have about two miles back still. It is 8.11, so the sun is rapidly going away. There's still decent enough visibility to not need a headlamp yet, but we'll definitely need the headlamp turned on here pretty soon. But we're making progress. Just about two more miles, back to the car. Let's knock it out. Okay, headlamp is officially on. We just made it back to the fork of Chain Lakes and Ptarmigan. So we have about a mile left. And it is pretty much fully dark now. But with the headlamp, easy peasy. So let's crank out this last mile and we'll be home. We made it back to the car 
It is about nine o'clock. That hike was a total of 10 miles. Gained about 2,300 feet. Total calories, about 1,600. So, good little hike. But we are now home. So I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. Let me show you guys something. This is gonna be my shower for the night. Just a good old body wipe. I'm just gonna wipe myself down. Now be my shower and start getting ready for bed and just hit the hay. And we'll be getting up early tomorrow morning for sunrise, some coffee, and potentially another hike. That will most likely be the next video. So next week will be tomorrow morning. So for now, that will end this adventure. That will end this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the morning and the next one. Peace.